I better have a 317 in here somewhere. Or else we're not going to be making a video today. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to take this guy here. The humble LM317 adjustable voltage regulator. And we're going to put it on a stem board. And the reason we're going to do that is that I like these little guys. They're good for up to 37 volts. Their output is 1.25 volts uh, higher than the adjust, I think. I'd have to check the data sheet just to be sure. And they're good for like an amp and a half. So, you know, you put a nice heat sink on here and you've got yourself a nice adjustable voltage regulator. And it's got a secret identity as an adjustable current regulator as well. Just really useful, and I think it'll be a good IC for the students to get used to using. So let's go over to the computer and put together a board that we can send to the STEM kids. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to check here on the data sheet. And if we look here at normal operation, it says the output pin will source current necessary to make the output 1.25 volts greater than the adjustment. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make absolutely sure. Okay, so here's our circuit. You know, it doesn't really get much easier than this. We have our input section here, which brings in our power from our power supply board. <clears throat> And that comes into the VN area right here. Now, these two three-pin headers that you see here for the adjust are going to hold resistors. So to set the voltage for one of these guys, you need to set up a voltage divider with a resistor here and a resistor here. This one goes to ground. This one goes to uh, yeah, it goes right here, right here to our output, and then here at the junction. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this drawing. As you can see, we go back up to our adjust point. We're just creating a voltage divider that allows us to do that. There, that's all it is. There's there's nothing to it. So here's the board as I've drawn it. <clears throat> We will put the LM317 on top. We'll have our voltage divider over here. This is our power in. This is our power out. We're going to have a test point here so the students can measure what they're setting that voltage as here. And then they should be able to measure 1.25 volts higher here on the power outside. And I put the uh, formula here for them as well. And if we want to look at a 3D view, this is kind of what it's going to look like, although these will be bent over male pins, female pin, or female pins, male pins, you get the idea. Yeah, I mean, this is what it's going to be, something super simple. That's it. That's all there is to it. Let's get some boards ordered. What do you say? I'm going to order the boards from PCBWay, and of course this video is sponsored by PCBWay. They are the major sponsor of this channel, and I would just like to say thank you to everybody at PCBWay for being such a wonderful force in this education market to help me get my designs to the students who need them. I couldn't do it without you. PCBWay has many different services that they can offer you. We're looking here at standard PCB prototypes for $5, assembly for $30, flex and rigid, HDI, CNC machining I haven't tried yet, but their 3D printing I have tried, and it is outstanding. So if you need any of these services in the near future, I hope you'll give PCBWay a try. I think you'll be pleased. I know I was. All right, we got the boards back from PCB Way. Looking pretty good. And I've got 
just about everything we're going to need to put it together. What am I missing? We need our test point. Oh, I didn't work, did it? That one worked fine. And for this one, we'll use horizontal pins. All right. So we can start off with our 317. You see I've mounted it to a heat sink. With any voltage regulator, what you're doing is you're trading voltage for heat, basically. So you're definitely, definitely going to want to a heat sink on these. Remember, heat is the enemy of electronics. So the cooler you can keep your devices, the longer they're going to live, the happier they're going to be, and therefore, the happier you are going to be, because you're not replacing parts or even entire devices all the time. What you want to look for on the data sheets is called junction temperature. You want to look for the maximum junction temperature, and that is your must not exceed temperature. These guys in here. A little bit of blue tack to kind of keep it where I want. And we'll solder these up. So it's almost Labor Day here in the United States. School is out for the summer for just about all the kids. And if you have a senior like I do, school's out forever. And they are awaiting graduation, which is next weekend. They finished up school the other day, had their uh, senior assembly. Uh, Blake got a $1,000 scholarship from the teachers association to add to his sixteen thousand dollar scholarship that he got from the university of pittsburgh itself so that's nice mother and i still have to come up with another 30 grand to pay for this year but we're working on it he also got a uh, president's academic award And since he is uh, vice president of the senior class, he got a pin to wear to his graduation and, of course, his uh, honors cords. So I'm excited. I'm excited for him. He, on the other hand, is not terribly excited. He is, in fact, terrified of graduating and, you know, what is waiting for him on the other side of high school. And I, want, I would love to, you know, help him tell him everything's going to be fine. And stuff. But I was so totally different from him. I couldn't wait to get out of here. Which, you know, turns out was a mistake. But I was 18 years old and the most intelligent creature on the face of the earth, so nobody could tell me anything. All right, we are almost done here.
This is a really simple one. But if we're teaching electronic concepts to students that don't have any experience, you know, voltage regulators are going to be something they're going to see all the time. So we definitely want to cover that. And we've covered a fixed voltage regulator in the first board with the 7805. And now we have the uh, variable voltage regulator with the LM317. So we've covered both bets. Fixed voltage regulator, adjustable voltage regulator. You know, keep everything open. Good. All right. And that. Should be that. This little board should be just about ready. All right, we've got everything set up here. We've got our power coming in. We've got two uh, resistors here. Let's set up our divider. I'm going to change that because I was playing around here. I want to make sure they're both the same. These are both 1K resistors. And if I can turn you over here so you can see, the power supply is set up for 20 volts. I need to set up here. All right, so we should be seeing, what, around 10 volts or something on there? 9.08. All right, so let's do a little measurement and see if everything works out as we expected. So we'll disconnect these here. Now it should definitely be a load on here, but we can't do that here. Here's our ground. All right, there's our divider. 8.38, 8.38 time, or 8.38, plus 1.25 so that should be 10.05 which we're not quite getting are we a little bit low let me uh let me put a load on here and see what kind of a difference that's going to make to this. Let's get a uh, resistor here and see if I can't figure this out. Okay, as you can see, I put a load onto the output there. If I remove the load, go to 9. Yeah, it's not much of a difference. Let's check something here. We cut the power over here so we're not energized. And here we will go. Resistance. So the resistance on this, yeah, 0.986. Nine seven eight. You can do the math yourself, but you get the idea. They're not exact. Nothing's ever exact. But you can adjust these in as well as you want. And this is going to go to our collection. So there's our collection. We have our initial power board. We have the resistor divider board, LED brightness board, Resistor cube board, our LM317, RC timing, and the split rail board. We're developing a nice collection of these boards 
to give to the STEM program at the high school. And uh, I'm sure they'll be appreciative of it. And I know that I'm passing on electronics knowledge to the next generation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Elaine and Emily at PCB Way for making all this possible. That's it. I'm out. Peace.